This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. This, the largest gun auction that they ever had in the state of Nebraska, a private gun auction, and table after table of ammunition. It is interesting that in so much as watching it, I saw a single box of 22 shells, 50 shells, go for $400. Oh, it was a off-breed and old box of 22 shells, $400 it went for. And a lot of them were up even close to that mark yet. Be that as it may, ammunition in general for a carton of 22 shells, which means 500 rounds, was going for about $80 for a carton. And they didn't have no problem running it right on up there to 80. Yeah, that's a lot of money without question for ammunition. What, 16 cents a piece, give or take. Another option you might want to consider, if not for today, for tomorrow, is considering buying pellet. 117 or 22 caliber pellets. They're about three cents a piece for the best ones that I utilize, and that's not the best overall, but what works good in my gun and the kind, my specialty kind that I like, if I can at all get it, is the one that's a very hard to see. I'll try to do it this way. Little bitty guy, 117, and it has a steel BB inside it. Little tiny steel BB. I find some very good accuracy. Uh, just this last week, seen a poisonous snake. And about 15 feet away, one shot happened to be happen to be with this Ruger Explorer, if you can see it all. Of course, it's got fiber optics in front and back. It's an excellent, excellent break-open rifle. Only shoots about 450 feet per second, so those states thinking they're going to shut this gun down, it's not going to work, because most of the legalities say anything over 500 feet per second is a firearm. This is under that, so it still gives you the ability to kill a rat, a snake, a rabbit, not much more, maybe a squirrel, things like that, but it's got to be pretty small for you to take great game with it. But if you're wanting something to plink, and plink a lot cheaper than firearms and a lot more places to shoot them, consider a pellet rifle. Consider pellets. Consider pellets. Absolutely. And I'll finish it with this. I knew a gentleman for many years, great man. And he loved and was addicted to, if you will, hunting turkeys. That's right. And he got tired of using a shotgun to take turkeys. And so he went to crossbow and bow and arrow. That still didn't cut the mustard as far as he was concerned. So he, with the permission of not Nebraska, but the state he lives in, he got permission to use a pellet gun. And... Uh, had to go through all sorts of tests and anything like that and prove his deadly accuracy and the ability of the gun to kill without torturing or maining or injuring. Uh, and with a headshot, it would more than do the job. And so, legally, he bought all the permits and licenses as if he was going to use uh, the normal firearms type thing and or weapon to kill said turkey. And he used a pellet rifle. He would call them in, usually within 20 feet, so that's not a long-range shot to say the least, and he took them with pellet guns, and he was very, very pleased. Did it numerous times, legally in that state, absolutely. So a pellet gun has the capability, especially some of these that'll get on up to 1,000 feet per second, 1,200 feet per second. Of course, those, you automatically have an awful lot more noise, unless you have some kind of a quieter on the end of the gun. Be that as it may, be that as it may, consider pellet guns for the future if guns or ammunition become either unattainable either through laws or through the price. A pellet gun is still a way to shoot. Thank you for your time.